So this is my remake of something that somebody else has already made. Um, I was looking online for different ideas of, of making a rocking horse. I didn't want to make a normal, boring rocking horse for my kid. Um, my son's turning two, and, and you know, he has a cheap little plastic rocking horse that he likes. Uh, I figured I'll make him one. And I ran across this uh, design for a uh, picture of a Tauntaun that somebody else made. And I really liked it. Um, so I thought I'd, I'd take up the challenge and, and do my own. And, um, I changed the design quite a bit. Um, you know, I did the tail a little more detailed, put a saddle on it and, uh, my feet are a lot more uh, detailed. I, uh, hand carved, uh, the feet. So, um, a lot more detail on there. There's probably, I don't know, two to three hours in each one. Um, uh, put a nostril on him, uh, which is different from the original design. Uh, my ears a little different. Uh, my tail, I wanted to make a little bit more uh, detailed. Um, so it is different than the original one. Um, obviously, I could, I think I could do a much better job in the next one. Um, I've learned quite a bit, and and um, you know what, I could do better next time for sure. Um, there's probably forty hours start to finish in that thing. Um, from start to finish, that's, you know, the drawing it out, uh, making the, uh, template and then using the template to make the pieces and, you know, going forth from there. Um, obviously with the template now, I can do it much faster. Um, so my wife seems to think I should try to build another one and sell it, but I have no idea what to ask for these things. I've seen uh, other handmade, um, other handmade uh, rocking horses sell for around four hundred dollars. Um, again, I would have probably, gosh, twenty to thirty hours uh, in it. So um, I think it would be, you know, worth my effort to make it for that much. Um, so let me know what you think, guys. Uh, is it worth it? Is it not?